Morning. Today's ride, all about supporting. Two of these guys doing an Audax. So I'm helping them out by doing a little bit of time on the front. The first 90K or so, then I'm gonna stop and head off and go and watch Mrs. B in her first ever TT. So it's all about support. Right now, I'm at the stage of my training where I'm trying to get in at least 200K every weekend. Longer back-to-back -back days, I'll get them longer and longer. But it's just about stretching the <laughs> length of those endurance rides. Oh, I got a countryside. Fortunately for you guys, all you can do is see it. You can't smell it. Oh, first 75k is roll food. Easy. Quick stop for food. Hi. Oh, we slow down and go through this village. It passes my favourite house in the whole of Warwickshire. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spectacular house. Oh, that's 95k down. Relatively easy 95k. Yeah. You forget when you're riding on your own indoors or out in the winter how much easier it is to ride faster with friends so 200 today what's after the 200 200 today 300 may bank holiday hopefully 400 at the end of may and then a 600 to complete the year gives me a super randonneur status not that it's the status i'm after it's the fact that if I can't ride 600 this year, I've no hope of doing Paris press Paris in two years' time. No way am I doing 300 or 400. <laughs> and definitely not 600. Ah, oh, this is where your route goes right, but we know we're going straight on. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Straight on! Straight on here! Part two of the support ride day. <laughs> Filming! <laughs> Stars of YouTube! I've got rid of the endurance riders and swapped for two more domestiques. <laughs> Off to go and support the girls doing their first ever TT. Go on, Rachy B. Go, Rach! Go, Rach! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Allez, 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 allez! Go on, Fiona! We saw them at the two kilometre mark, heading now on the side roads to catch them at 12 kilometers. Go on Fiona, Looking keep that good. pace. Looking good. Keep going. Well done you. I love it. That was great fun. I, I, I had an illegal hug. Don't well get that done. on camera. And? It's great. Yeah, it's great. I love that. That's the girls done, heading home. 134K down so far. Riding with a man who knows how to dress properly for the weather. I am absolutely boiling. Chilly babies. Oh, properly tired now. Oh, are we? Just over 150. You might tell me I should go out and do the last 9K to get to the 160, 100 mile mark, but blimey, I'm tired. Oh, good day out. Good day training. Sunday morning, we're back out. Recovery ride. This is me recovering from a TT effort and me recovering from the 150k in support of the others. So when I'm training for these long distance events, weekends are always about getting in two longer rides. Always the longest one is on Saturday and then I try to get out again on Sunday. First hour of the Sunday ride is always a recovery pace just so I can get my body going again. It's really important to do the back to back date back to back and the time in the saddle is much more important than the speed and the distance 
taking the roads less used this morning, avoiding thinking about Strava segments. So, lovely little country roads, little B roads in the sunshine. Ride. 5k to coffee stop already. I've acquired another one of the TTs. Strong feeling I'm going to get back behind here. And off they go. One of the important things about training for longer rides is you have to be selfish and think about what your training needs are you can't always ride at somebody else's pace let somebody else push you if you're going to be riding for days on end on your own one of the key things is that you've got to be able to ride with your own fitness and your own ebb and flow sometimes that means putting your ego in check and letting two faster women who've just done a TT disappear off into the distance to be fair, they both did spanky yesterday. Well, following my own rules about building mental resilience here, I had intended to stay out for a couple of hours at recovery pace, but wow, the weather is beautiful, the scenery is beautiful. Staying out, I'm gonna go and find somewhere to go and have lunch and stay out for another couple of hours. Ah, who am I kidding? Of course, I'm back at the espresso barn. Right, just come through the three hour mark. That would be the shorter way home on that junction. Just accept it's about time in the saddle. Forget about the speed, forget about the distance. Just try and get another hour out my legs. Problem is, when you're tired, every hill becomes a mountain. Just keep telling yourself, time in the saddle, points in the bank. Don't you just hate it when people ride past you in silence, refuse to say hello, and then can't make it stick. Ball is definitely a rule in my book. If you're going to pass someone, you better be sure you can make it stick. Gone through four hours, coming up to 100k. Sometimes the most rewarding rides are the ones where you surprise yourself, where you've had that battle with the little voice in your head telling you to slow down or to quit. Weird though, at the end of the day, it is just you talking to yourself. But nice when the positive you wins versus the negative you. And home again, 104k, 4 hours 20 minutes, gives me about 350k for the week, the week, pretty good result in my book.